Hello YouTube. Uh, mm, I came on back on YouTube yesterday and um, found out this one dude thinks I'm homeless and he was concerned about me, little gray rabbit. Um, the thing is, I'm not homeless. I'm camping. This is day two of it. Um, If you, if you understand camping, you try to rough it. Some people can't live without certain things when they're roughing it. Um, so far, this camping trip has turned out to be uh, a little bit of both. Can't live with it, can't live without it, um, want to live without it, but yet. We does say we just love electronics. I like our you know conventional things. You know, and that's kind of harsh. So what I did was went out and got a generator and everything. So uh, you know, that's fun. You know, camping is fun and everything else. Um, man, so inducing us to homelessness. <laughs> I mean, when I watched it for the first time, I started laughing my ass off. It was, it was pretty much funny and, um, uh, and stuff. Getting on the power aid. Yeah. Sort of endorsing this. Some good shit. Power aid. Hell yeah. Yeah, Walmart nowadays. It's the 79 cents now. 79 cents. That ain't bad. Get your power aid. You know, this is pretty good stuff. I mean, we've made a mixed pack of it. I've drunk most of it so far. I mean, hey, better than sodas, I'd say, because sodas then tend to flee the carb and bloat you after time and start making you fat. So I try to stay away from fattening things because being a martial artist, I can't be too fat, I can't be too skinny, I gotta have the stain power and everything else. Um, being a jiu-jitsu um, practitioner, yeah, power is everything, you know. But most of the power come from the legs. And not much from the arms more from the legs because your center of gravity is down lower than normal and uh, yeah I brought my computer along in the camp hey you know gotta make some video somehow some way and I'm lucky I'm getting the signal Alright. So the devil team gr gray rabbit thinks I'm homeless and partly on his uh you know, his monologue or whatever it was, um he said he cared. That dude caring? I don't think so. That dude can't care. He, he he actually hurts a lot of people in the martial art community. Um, his comments are pretty not nice at all. 
this was a form of attack, I know it. And, um, I'm not the kind of person who wants to get into it again. But, if he did say that he really actually cared, I want him to make another video expressing that. Um, I want him to put all his silliness aside and stop tacking me and my friends. That's even websites. Because, um, if he was concerned, he should put away his pettiness and learn that no matter what shape, size, or how much money you got, there are martial artists out there that do pretty fine without help out there in the world. And uh, especially me. I had my training early in life. So, what I'm just doing is what I learned a long time ago. So, that explains that. Alright. I am a Shodan. And everything. And I'm not going over Shodanness. Because that would be wrong. Even though I do do teaching videos, but that's only from Shodan down, not Shodan up. That's a difference. If you was doing Shodan up to Suki, that would be a little wrong there because I even know I'm not up there to teacher level but in some schools a showdown is allowed to teach lowers lower ranks brown belts blue belts um, yellow belts and white belts on up to my level only you can't go no higher but yeah there is a point where if you go to Shodanness in order to go to the second level of Shodan or second black belt, you will have to demonstrate and show what you learn. That's only normal. That's in all Nijitsu. That's all Nijitsu classes are. Once you get to a certain level, you have to show what you know to a lower rank. Take, sort of like taking people under the wing. Showing them and expressing. They get their encouragement. And when they get their encouragement, they can go up. Up the ladder. If people don't understand that, it's not like I'm taking a non-existent stuff and putting it around. Um, Mr. Um, Albert from the 20th Century Ninjutsu, um, he's a pretty cool dude. I like him. I watched his videos a lot, and I watched uh, Christine Jabica's videos a lot. They're pretty good. Um, Stephen K. Hayes's. I got a stack of Stephen K. Hayes's. Let me tell you. Um, and everything. I can listen to Stephen K. Hayes practically all day. And know what he's saying. And. There'll be coming time where you have to. Move on. And. I'm trying to move on, but yet, hey, since the last videos of mine got, like, wiped out just about, I had to start over. And that's only normal. You 
Uh, that's all I got to say today. Um, to all my friends, thank you very much for subscribing. Um, if the other one didn't get wiped out, I would have made it to the 300th video, or at least to um, three, uh, 270. Um, I didn't reach that because I got wiped out. Um, sorry that I did that. Um, that is the whole point. But the thing is, the dude should not attack me because he's always suspressing the Velveteen Grey Rabbit. Always suspressing that if someone kind of like gets a little upset at your videos, then their mental stability is not correct. Right. Um, he should listen to his own advice and stop attacking me and my friends because uh, we're moving on and we're not going to attack this person but we do watch his videos to see what he says about us we have our rights and everything like it though so I'm sorry this will run a little longer than normal uh, this is um, Black, Black Sword Shinobi Dojo 2 Camping.